What up, y'all? Chris, just got done watching UFC 128. Just got back from it. Um, hence the headband. It's cold outside, raining. So I'm trying to keep my ears warm. But yeah, man. Uh, woo, not the best event overall. Definitely the first three fights. A little lackluster, a little slow paced. I'll go into the third round. Actually, the first four fights on the pay-per-view, I'll go into the, uh, the third round and some of the distance. But man, that main event definitely made up for it. You know, this is one of those events where the main fight alone, you know, the main event was just a big, big fight. And, uh, you know, you ordered a pay-per-view on that str on the strength of that alone. And it definitely lived up to it. And John Jones definitely lived up to it. And, you know, even Joe Rogan himself said it. You not only lived up to but exceeded the hype, which was pretty damn high going into this bout from John Jones. You know, um, like I said, I don't really have anything to say about the, the Facebook fights. Um, they, made me, they made me want to unlike the, face, the UFC uh, Facebook page. That's how much I didn't like those fights. The spike fights, I didn't get to see um, Kane Marshall yet. Angel Kwani versus Barbosa was cool, though. Um, good fight. I guess Barbosa deserved the win, but uh, exciting fight. Um, as for the pay-per-view, you know, uh, that first fight, what was it? Uh, Shab, Me or Shab versus Krokop kind of went the way of uh, Krokop versus Mir. You know, Krokop looked like he might be able to survive and gets knocked out. Krokop, done. Retire. It's over. You're looking like Chuck Liddell at the end of his career. Um, Marquard Miller, eh, Miller, Marquard got the win, not overly impressed, still needs to be more aggressive, let his hands go more often, you know, um, Jim Miller, Kamal Shalaroos, good win for Miller, um, you know, it went as expected, Uriah favored Eddie Wineland, Prost Eddie Wineland, dude did a lot better than I expected, thought Uriah was going to hustle him on the ground, um, definitely had some good takedown defense and whatnot, Uriah, you know, did what he needed to do to get the win, not his best performance, but, the crowd still steaming me into it, you know, probably the most entertaining fight on the um, preview portion of the card up to that point. And, of course, the main event, ugh, man, what can you say? John Jones just one-sidedly shut Shogun down. I actually thought Jones looked a little nervous before the bout, that he had that nervous energy going on. But, uh, man, he, he sure didn't display it once the bell rang. Um, all John Jones, you know, took Shogun down. I thought he would probably get submitted in this fight, Jones. But uh, he showed some good instincts on defense. You know, Shogun went for a couple of legs for some sweeps, tried to get the leg, but Jones was prepared for all that stuff, was able to shut it down. Um, hurt Shogun pretty bad in the first. Had him hurt really bad on the feet with uh, that straight kick and the elbows and the knee I think he caught him with. And it looked like he was going to finish him, but then he kind of laid off. You know, he had Shogun hurt. He was up against the fence. I don't know why he backed off. I'll be curious to hear what his answer is for that. But either way, you know, I thought it was a mistake. My friend was like, why doesn't Shogun finish him? I said, I don't know. But um, let him off the hook. Shogun survived that round. But, man, he looked – Shogun looked tired. They both looked pretty tired after that first round, but Shogun really looked tired. Very reminiscent of the Forrest Griffin fight, Shogun's first fight in the UFC. Um, second round, Shogun looked to get a little bit more on track, looked to have a little more something left. Jones actually was breathing pretty heavy as well in the second round. Um, but, once again, Jones was in control. Shogun tried to go for some takedowns or for some uh, – Submission attempts again, but Jones wasn't having it. Jones pretty much had full control the second round as well. And um, third round, you know, pretty easy to call. John went out there and just shut him down. Got on top again. Um, Shogun, from his back, he really just looked depleted. I told my friend, I said, um, the longer this fight goes, it, uh, it's obvious Shogun's not going to get a submission. He just didn't have the quickness anymore. He didn't have the endurance. He didn't have, you know, the, the element of surprise. Um, to be able to snap one on real quick. And Jones just took advantage of that. I think he knew that Shogun was weakened. That Shogun was just there for the taking. And, um, man, just crushed him from the top with elbows and punches. Credit to Shogun. It looked like he was just turtling up and he was going to get knocked out. Stopped by the ref. Um, he was able to get up to his feet. And John Jones just did what he didn't do in the first round. He just finished him off. I mean, he let it go. Um, killer instinct, you know. Taking advantage of the opp opportunity of the situation and just just demolished Shogun. He absolutely destroyed Shogun. I mean, the ref was stopping anyway, but Shogun was on his all four all fours tapping out meekly um on the ground, you know, I mean he took the fight out of Shogun completely. Not easy to do to a champion of that caliber. So uh man, full credit to John Jones. I told my friend before the fight um Anderson Silva's his favorite fighter, I said, I guarantee you if John Jones wins this fight, people are gonna be calling for Silva Jones in the future and they definitely will be um and I think it's a more competitive fight than GSP Anderson, you know. Uh, not that I think Joe Jones would beat Anderson, but size-wise and stylistically-wise, I think it's a better, more intriguing fight than 
GSP versus Anderson Silva. So, uh, yeah, but um, either way, that fight alone made up for that event, made that event worthwhile. Great performance by Jones. Man, I don't see Rashad Evans giving him much trouble at all. I don't care if Rashad knows him with their training partners. I really don't see Rashad Evans having much of a chance, if any, in that fight against John Jones. But um, great performance by John Jones, man. Uh, look forward to watching his fights no matter who it's against. Feel bad for Shogun. Back to the drawing board for him. A lot of fights in the UFC lightweight division for him, though. Maybe throwing against Rich Franklin or Couture. I don't know anybody. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, of course, I'll be talking about this fight and more on tomorrow's Science Finance Radio Show. I'll put a link to the show and information part of the video as, always, as, well, as well as a link to my Twitter. One of your guys' thoughts on the event. Mostly, I want to your thoughts on the fight. Were you as surprised as I was how one-sided this fight was? Do you give Rashad Evans any chance against John Jones? Would you rather see John Jones Silva down the line than uh, Silva GSP? And, um, yeah, man, just what was your take on this whole thing? That's it for now. Um, Till next time, UFC Fight Night 24, guys. Um, I'm out.